land into your favorite professional courses in the state of Kerala by cracking this entrance examination which is called as KEAM. In order to crack an entrance exam, there are two major components that a candidate or an aspirant should be, be well aware of which is examination pattern or the marking scheme as well as the syllabus that you have to consider for preparation. Now in this video we are going to deal with both of these major essentials. Why is this going to be helpful? This is going to make your preparation much more easier. You can have an organized time saving preparation and you can have a convenient read through through all of the details very understandably. So with this note I would welcome you all to Freshers Now and in this video we are going to understand about how the exam is structured as well as what are the different topics that you have to consider for your preparation for KEAM entrance exam. So with this note I would first like to begin you all by accessing this information from exams.freshersnow.com. All you have to do is head over to Google and search for KEA, KEAM syllabus Freshers Now. So as you search You can see the first link itself is from exams.freshers now. Give a click on this and this particular page will be opening up for you. Starting off with a basic introduction about what the examination is and we will be heading over to the examination briefs which is the whole examination will consist of 240 questions from the subjects of chemistry, physics and mathematics. The time duration of the examination is 2 hours 30 minutes. For every correct answer you would be awarded 4 marks and for every wrong answer there would be 1 mark deducted. So there is negative marking of 1 mark. So heading forward to the marking scheme what it is actually like. So before we head forward I would like to request you all to join our telegram channel. In our telegram channel you are going to get all the updates regarding the entrance exam so don't forget to join us. Also. We will now look into the overview as well as the briefs. Then you are going to understand the marking scheme. So this is from CEE Government of Kerala and this examination is called as Kerala Engineering Architect Medical Entrance Examination. So that is why I have mentioned you can get into your favorite and your major chosen professional courses. So here is the official website as well CEE-Kerala.org. So if you want additional information regarding this, you can always head over to the official website and cross check your information. So here is the marking scheme. As you can see, you have the examination divided into two papers. Paper 1 has physics and chemistry consisting of 120 questions carrying for one 480 marks. Then this paper 1 is conducted for 2 hours 30 minutes. For paper 2 you have mathematics as a subject. Here again you have 120 questions carrying for 480 marks. Again for this paper 2 the total examination time is 2 hours 30 minutes. So 2 and a half hours is given for each of the papers constituting 240 questions for 960 marks. So as you can understand for every correct answer you would be given 4 marks for every wrong answer 1 mark would be deducted. So there is negative marking in this. Now heading over to the syllabus part we will now understand from our basics knowing the formulae, calculating faster, also understanding what are the different uh, symbols and relevations which are being in the particular subject apart from these basic concepts and other coverage of basic fundamentals you also have to have a deeper focus on these topics whilst preparing for KEAM. Starting with mathematics. For mathematics in algebra you have sets, relations and functions then you have complex numbers, sequences and series. So whilst preparing for algebra itself Note down all of these relevant topics, sequences and series, permutations, combinations, binomial theorems, matrices and determinants, linear inequalities, 
mathematical reasoning. For trigonometry, you have trigonometrical functions, inverse trigonometrical functions. For geometry, you have three-dimensional geometry, Cartesian systems and then lines and family of line circles, vectors and conic sections. For statistics, you have statistics and probability. For characters, you have difference integers, then applications of derivatives, functions, limits and continuity, difference shell equations, differentiation, then uh, indefinite integers. Then for physics, everything is written uh, like on topic wise, so you can actually note down very easily. Atomic nucleus, waves, dual nature of matter and radiation, physical world and measurement, kinematics, description of motion in one dimension, description of motion in two and three dimensions, then you have motion of systems and particles, then you have gravitation, mechanics of solids and fluids, heat and thermodynamics, oscillations, laws of motion, electrostatics, current electricity, magnetic effect of current and magnetism, electromagnetic induction, electromagnetic waves, optics, work energy and power solids, semiconductor devices, principles of communications. So as you can see, major coverage is from class 11 and class 12 syllabus itself. So you have to be well conversed, well aware as to how these basic concepts are working. Then you can actually get into the core explanation of the same topics. Then for chemistry, you have the block elements and uh, the basic formulae or the structures of the elements. And after that, you would be working on surface chemistry, environmental chemistry, basic concepts of atomic structure, bonding of molecular structure, states of matter, periodic properties of elements. I've said the block elements already. All the block elements are given here. So block elements also would be consisting of the families and the groupings. So you have to be aware of that. So from till here, all the systems and thermodynamic laws of all the D block elements, solutions, their types, then redox reactions and electrochemistry, chemical kinematics, coordinating uh, compounds, basic principles of purification, then hydrocarbons, organic reactions mechanism, uh, stereochemistry, organic compounds, organic compounds with functional groupings, then uh, with functional groupings which containing all of the other elements as well. So you have to be subdividing the major topics as well. So this is the main point of view. I hope that you have taken down the notes which is regarding this uh, subject. Also, if you want to additionally look forward or to reread the same information, head over to exams.freshersnow.com. You will get all the information at one place in one page itself. So that is very convenient. All the very best from Freshers Now. And don't forget to tune in with us by subscribing to our channel for more entrance exam videos.